morning. Uh, the Lord gave me this message and was unfolding this to me, I don't know, within the past week or so. And um, today is February 7th, 2024. And um, this is the uh, day of my dad's earthly birthday. So, uh, happy birthday to my dad in heaven. And um, as I was thinking about today, as I was driving, um, the Lord just put it on my heart. Remember that message that I unfolded to you and you were waiting for the right day to share it? This would be a good day to share it. So, um, so I miss my dad. I think of him often. And um, he would have been 74 today. He passed a year and a half ago. Passed on to eternity and crossed that threshold into our Father's house. So, uh, Lord, anoint my words and help me to speak clearly. Let your message come through and prepare every heart to receive what you have, Lord. Um, it's not your will that any man would perish apart from you. That any man would perish and spend eternity in hell. So I pray that this video would go far and wide and that people's hearts would be pricked to get right before you, Lord. Because we don't know... We don't know the day that we'll leave this earth. It happens in an instant. In Jesus' name, amen. So, um, my dad passed away, like I said, um, on to eternity a year and a half ago at 72 years old. And um, after he passed, um, I we ended up making a couple house keys to his house after he passed away um and um so i was making this house key down at the house key place and i realized huh now i have a house to my i have a key to my dad's house uh it's the first key i ever had to my dad's house um i'm 42 i guess i was probably 40 at that point around there and i was like wow like it was really odd because it felt really special to me that I finally got to have a key to his house. <laughs> but it was odd because he wasn't there. And it was odd because he didn't give it to me. <laughs> and there's pain mixed in there because I can remember being a tween and a teenager and all I wanted was a key to my dad's house. My parents were divorced and my dad had his own apartment. And um, I remember I would go visit um, and um, a couple times I'd ask for him to give me a key so that if I got there when he wasn't there, I could go inside. And he just, he couldn't give me a key. And I understand the reasons why now. <laughs> but he couldn't, he could not bring himself to give me a key to his house and he had good reasons, but he didn't understand and how much that hurt me and how rejected that made me feel this is my own father <laughs> and to me a key to his house was kind of like a key to his heart you know so he passes away and I have a house key and I put this special little <laughs> thing on top of it so I can easily identify it and I live in a different state he was in California I'm in Tennessee so I have the key hanging on my key, where my keys hang. So every time I walk by it, it's um, it's this memory, and it makes me smile. I'm I'm crying right now. I'm very emotional. <laughs> I mean, because of this topic, but also, you know, this is this we would have been celebrating his birthday if he was here in some way, shape, or form, um, even if just with a phone call or a birthday song or whatever. But so. Anyways, I have that the key hanging, and every time I walk by, I just smile because I have his house key, and in some little way, it makes me feel kind of close to him now. And um, so I've been looking at that for a year and a half, every day when I walk by it multiple times a day, and the other day I was walking by it, and I was just like, wow, you know, how sad, <laughs> and, and what a broken kind of relation that even though my dad isn't in that house actually that's not it won't even open the door anymore because the locks have since been changed and I'm like 
it's so funny that it brings me this sweet little thing, but I thought, you know, it's also kind of a sad little situation that, I don't know, you know, the simple like that meant so much, you know, and, and, um, but we couldn't work that out while he was here on earth. And, um, the Lord said, um, you know, I give all my kids keys to my house. I don't, I don't withhold the keys to my house. I have the kingdom. I can't see. I have a kingdom, a perfect kingdom with everything that you could ever need. And I've already given you the keys to my house <laughs> and you're welcome there anytime, you know? And he wasn't just talking about when I die and go to heaven, but just talking about the kingdom of God is ours. When we come to him, when we come to Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior, that we become an heir, that God's heir to his throne and his kingdom and all that is his right in that moment is ours. And it's life changing when you realize that. Um, because some people, they call on Jesus as Lord and Savior, and all of that is theirs, and they have no idea, and they continue to walk in this place of darkness and brokenness simply because they don't know what is truly theirs when they're accepted into God's family by calling on the Lord Jesus Christ to adopt you. And um, it was such a sweet thing. And I was like, Lord, I know. Thank you. And um, and he was saying, too, even like, you know, it might be kind of hard for some people to hear, like, or think, you know, some really bad things about my dad. Like, oh, he wouldn't give his own daughter a key to his house, you know. And th that came from traumas and difficulties in his own life, as well as uh, difficulties and frustrations that I, I had brought upon myself and etc. So it was very complex. So <laughs> don't think poorly of him for that. Um, you know, some like our parents have traumas and difficulties and things that they struggle with. Um, and we can't hold those things against them. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm fine. I've forgiven him and I know he loved me and I, I he still loves me and I love him. Um, but the Lord was just also just reminding me that, you know, your dad had some brokenness in that area and some hurt and pain in that area. And he doesn't have that anymore. You know, now he's at my house. <laughs> I gave him the keys too. And the Lord was just reminding me to remind everybody else that I come in contact with that he's a good God. He is a good father. He's not some distant God who's like way up in the sky. When you call on the Lord Jesus Christ to be your Lord and your Savior and your Father and your best friend and your healer and your counselor, and you ask him to send his Holy Spirit to come live within you, he's right there with you always and through it all. And he instantly gives you the keys to his kingdom. And like I said, the keys to his kingdom are keys to overcoming the things during our time on earth that are trying to overcome us, that are trying to take us out, that are trying to ruin us. That are trying to fill in the blank everything negative and evil against us. And so not only do we have the keys to his kingdom as soon as we come to him for the rest of our days on earth, but we also have the keys to his kingdom in eternity, which is perfection. It is heaven. It's the new heavens and the new earth and it's perfect and it's not marred by sin or sadness or addiction or depression or broken relationships or rejection um, or hate or anger or abuse or any of those things and he, he wants to give us all of that. So whatever you're holding back from the Lord, whether it's your whole self or some pieces of yourself, he wants to give you the keys to his house. And he does to anyone who calls on his name. And, and then you dig into the Bible and you spend time talking to the Lord and listening for the Lord and worshiping the Lord with every part of your being. And he continues to unfold to you what it means to have the keys to his house, the keys to his kingdom. And when he gives you the keys to his house, that's also an opening and an invitation and a key to his heart because he wants to know you intimately and he wants to share his heart with you. So 
please, if you haven't called on the Lord as your Lord and Savior and you haven't been covered and washed in his blood, please take time and do that today. Read the word of God. Talk to God. Interact with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Learn all of the ways that he's talking to us all the time that he communicates to us through our spirit to spirit. Um, he gives us signs all day long to let us know he's right there with us. He gives us hugs from heaven in so many cool ways and reminds us that we're not alone. And he's helping us even before we come to him as our Lord and our Savior. He's helping us. He at him, his armies of angels who are working on earth to help the people who will be saved. He's a good father. May the Lord bless you and keep you and unfold this word to you further and show you who you are truly created to be. Show you the ways that he wants to love you. May your heart be softened so that you can receive his love, so that you can hear him. May he give you eyes to see and ears to hear what his spirit is speaking to you and all that he has for you right now today in Jesus' name.